Ex-prisoners, what was the worst thing you saw inside the prison walls? I worked in the medical department of a large prison in Florida. We had an inmate bite a bigger inmate's nose off, the tip. The bigger guy kept asking the kid for sex and the kid had enough. We saw several stabbings, several were life flighted out, but those weren't the most interesting. We had an inmate smoke some bad spice, made out of God knows what. He came to medical out of his mind and later died because it caused brain hemorrhaging. One guy got a dislocated patella and was just sitting patiently as I got his info. I asked if it hurt and he said yeah. I asked how he was so chill and he replied, because I'm not a BTCH. Done 11 years myself, one of the worst things I've seen is two members of a gang called Goodfellas jumped on a blood on the way back from Pilkwall. One used a large knife. The other had a fan motor in a net bag and used it as a flail. Also seen slash heard multiple people being forced. A friend of mine admitted to me after a year or so that he had been actively forced every night by his roommate for about a five month period. There's more just what I could think of at the moment. There was talk about a guy assaulting his own daughter. Some guys made him a cup of morning coffee. Morning coffee is basically taking a kettle, pour cooking oil in it. Heat it up and add a lot of sugar and then throw it in someone's face. It was very uncomfortable to see and hear. I spent two weeks awaiting trial in Johannesburg Central Prison. Saw a guy with mental issues get severely beaten one night after he attacked another inmate. Saw another guy have a kettle of boiling water poured over him another evening after an argument with another prisoner. In both cases the wardens did nothing until the following morning. I was lucky, I managed to avoid any issues while I was there. Overall a crappy experience, 0 10, would not recommend. I spent 8 years in prison, in the state of Georgia. There was a guy who made a hustle of holding a hiding illegal cell phones for the Mexican gangs. When a shakedown slash search occurred, this man was responsible for the loss of many of those cell phones. He was confronted on the yard, and tried to escape by climbing the fence. He got stuck in the razor wire, shredding his forearms while seven or eight Mexican gang members were stabbing him all in the back of his legs and his ass. I spent six years in prison. One month in I watched a Crip on Crip gang stabbing. They stabbed the guy 60 plus times while he was curled up in a ball screaming help. But nobody could because you'd be a target next. He somehow survived but I couldn't tell you how. I think about it every day. I made a friend early on who was sentenced to life for killing a man that had touched his knees. He'd been locked up for about 5 or 6 years when I'd first met him. Talked to him every day for 3 years and one day he comes up to me and says he needs to talk to me about something. We do lap on the back 40 and he tells me his old lady is leaving him, and isn't bringing his daughter up to come see him anymore. He's actually crying. I didn't know what I could do to help him, so I let him cry and told him to not let it bother him, maybe she'll come around. We go on about our day and everything seems normal. That night he woke me up, he bunked across the hall, crying. I got up to talk to him and he says he wants to die, and that he's glad I'm up because he doesn't want to be alone. I start hitting the panic button for my cell and screaming for a guard, but no one comes, and I have to watch while he prees his mirror off of his wall. He put on his linens and blanket like a big robe and he cuts his stomach with his mirror. It was hard to see much because of the blankets and the dark, but I could smell his blood. Then he lit his blankets on fire. The co's got there when the smoke alarm went off, but they were too late. I still have nightmares about it, screaming for him to stop, to just talk it out, but he never does. I've seen a lot of fucked up shit man, but this was probably the worst. Or, at least, it stuck with me the longest. My uncle was in for 17 years for marijuana related charges. He was in the ward with two other guys with the same name as him both of them in for seven years. One of them killed a guy and the other was a child molester. One day when my uncle was in the showers, a group of guys who mistaken him as a child molester were about to serve prison justice on the wrong guy. He quickly realized the situation, sprinted naked out the showers to grab his papers to show the guys they have the wrong dude. English female prison I saw a woman get held down by two others while a third woman proceeded to shove her hand up the woman's vagina to check if she had came in with a parcel, drugs, this was in the communal showers so yeah addicts don't give a duck. It's not the craziest thing I saw but it's a social norm in prison that goes on daily. I'll never forget how socially acceptable jackers were. 
like somebody would be wearing a coat or hoodie etc. and stare at a female CEO and jack off. Sometimes sitting on a bench, sometime the TV room and nobody bats an eye. One time a dude was like hey man can you move a row over, she knows I'm watching and didn't skip a beat cranking off to an ugly 60 something year old woman. It stuck up but after a while you just accept that some people went nuts in there. While not prison and certainly tame by comparison, the worst thing I saw in jail was refusal to allow people to use the restroom. We, six of us, were all waiting 12 hours for processing in a small town in NC and were put in a concrete cell with a toilet. Every time we stood up to use the toilet, an officer would yell at us to sit back down. For those who disobeyed, they were forcibly handcuffed and moved somewhere else often pissing themselves during the ordeal. Not a prisoner but worked in a prison clinic for a few weeks while in med school. Was under the mentorship of the prison GP. Had this one guy come into the clinic for a routine visit who had a colostomy. We did our physical, blah blah, and the guy was about to leave. The GP mentoring me said, hey, check out his colostomy real quick. The guy awkwardly peeled part of his bag off and he has these red blisters weeping fluid around his colostomy stoma. I was totally confused and the guy left super quick. GP just shrugged. Later that day, I asked the GP what was up. Apparently the other prisoners dug that guy's colostomy hole, and he had gotten herpes of the colostomy from the other prisoners. Haunts me to this day. Not prison, but county jail, I was doing 90 days and a woman who was very pregnant went into labor. They refused to take her to the hospital until her contractions were two minutes apart. When they finally did, they shackled her to the bed. They refused to unlock the shackles even when the baby was in danger. She lost the baby and almost bled out. She was in jail for traffic tickets. Not in prison but work at a hospital that treats prisoners. Plenty of inmates swallowing handfuls of razor blades. Grossest thing so far was a pedo who ripped off his dong and balls with his bare hands and almost bled to death. One of the nurses who has worked there for a long time told me a story about a guy who ripped out both his eyeballs with his bare hands and ate them. One time I was being transferred from a medium security facility to a minimum security facility because I'd earned it after staying out of trouble. For some reason we could only get about halfway there so we had to stay overnight in a maximum security prison along the way. This place was run down. Poorly funded. Smelly. Dungeon-like. Not at all like the facility we were coming from or heading to. We were only there overnight, but I'll never forget the terror-filled screams that woke us in the middle of the night as some guy was fighting for his life. Guards didn't do anything for a really long time and we all could hear this guy getting the crap beat out of him and forced. It was really awful. We could just hear it all, like he was begging for his life. He started off tough and strong and by the end just went quiet. That was the only time I ever saw or heard of anything like that happening in real life. I'm not a prisoner but I work in a prison as a paramedic so I attend all code red and blue calls within the prison. I always remember one particular day which will remain with me forever. i just begun my night shift when a code red call out came over the radio, now whenever there is a code red all healthcare staff attend and we attend fast as it's normally a medical emergency. So I go running to this guy's cell, when I get there I look through the observation panel and it looks like the scene from a horror movie there is blood all over the bed and floor. Immediately I think that somebody has lost a limb so I grab an officer and head into the cell. When I go into the cell I see the prisoner sat facing the wall making confused gargling noises, it's all a bit confusing but he still has all his limbs from what I can see. I ask him to turn around and when he does I can see the damage. He had cut slices out of his face from top to bottom, including actually cutting his eyeball with a razor. We managed to take him down to our health care and got him shipped out to hospital. Had a call from a hospital nurse later on that night saying he was stable but he'd cut his eyelids completely off and so it looked like he was awake 24-7. Needless to say he never came back to the prison. There was a gang of queer black men that was known to be the most violent if crossed. Well one day after a card game, a fellow inmate verbally disrespected one of the members. That inmate was followed to the bathroom by three members of the gang later that day. A black eye and two missing teeth later, he's telling people that he slipped in the shower. I'm sure the officers knew that he was beaten, but he would not admit it. Moral of the story. Never underestimate someone or disrespect someone with words that you can't defend. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos.
Share your views in the comments below.